the spirit of truth, everywhere present, filling all things, treasure of blessings and giver of life. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory, the fall, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and bow down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ Himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you have been greatly magnified. You are clothed in perfection and majesty. You put on land as a garment. You stretched out the heavens like, like a curtain and covered its walls with water. You laid the clouds to stand up. You walk upon the wings of the wind. You make your angels spirits and your ministers a flame of fire. You establish the earth on its assurance and shall never be moved. The deep covers it like a garment. The waters will stand on the mountains. At your rebuke they will flee, at the sound of your thunder they will be afraid. The mountains rise and bow as soon to the place, and place which you appointed for them. You set a boundary that neither shall cross, they will not return to cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys, the waters will run between the mountains. They will give drink to all the beasts in the field, the wild asses will quench their thirst. The birds of the air will have their habitation beside them, gushing forth from the rocks they will give voice. You water the mountains from your rocks. The earth will be satisfied by the fruit of your works. You cause grass to grow for the cattle and plants for the service of man to produce bread from the earth. And wine gladdens the heart of man. You make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengthens the heart of man. The trees of the plain will be satisfied. The cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There will the sparrows make their nests. The heron's dwelling is chief among them. The high mountains are for the deer. The rock is a refuge for the hare. You made the moon for seasons, the sun knows its setting, you ordered darkness and it became night. Therein will all the beasts of the forest creep forth. You have lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. And man goes out to do his work and to labor until the evening. How magnified are your works, O Lord, in wisdom you made them all. The earth is the fruit of your creations. The sea, how great and spacious it is. Therein are innumerable creeping things, animals both small and great. There do ships traverse, there is that dragon you made to play therein. Oh, look, you to give them their food in due season. You give to them they will gather. When you open your hand, all things will be filled with goodness. When you turn your face away, they will be troubled. You will take away their spirit, and they will cease and return to their dust. You will send forth your spirit, and they will be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord will rejoice in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will chant to my God for as long as I have being. May my discourse be pleasant to him, and I shall rejoice in the Lord. Oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knows its setting. You ordered darkness, and it became night. How magnified are your works, O oh Lord, you made them all in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All 
Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, oh God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. What is the age of above for the salvation of our souls? Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole, church, the whole world, for the good of the state of holy churches, the God of the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy altar, for those going to a face, ravenous in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishop, his eminence, metropolitan, the lady gospel, the honorable presbyters of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our God, let us not protect the country, Canada, its government, armed forces, and for all our pious people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city, village, and country, for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 
Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and a door of enclosure about my lips. Incline not my heart in evil words to make excuses in sins with those who work, who work iniquity, and I will not associate with the choicest of them. Let the righteous man chasten me with mercy and reprove me. As for the oil of the sinner, let it not anoint my head. For even my prayer is against their good pleasure. Their judges have been swallowed up by the rock. They shall hear my words, for they are sweet. As a clod of earth is broken on the ground, so their bones are scattered by the side of Hades. For to you, O Lord, are my eyes. I have hoped in you. Take not away my soul. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of those who work iniquity. The sinners fall into their own net. I am apart from them until I pass by. With my voice to the Lord have I cried. With my voice to the Lord have I made my supplication. I shall pour out before him my supplication. My affliction before him shall I declare. As my spirit was departing from within me, you knew my paths. On this way on which I was walking, they hid a snare for me. I looked to my right and beheld, and there was no one that knew me. There is no escape for me, and no one cares for my soul. I prayed out to you, O Lord. I said, You are my hope. You are my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my supplication, for I have been greatly humbled. Deliver me from those who persecute me, for they have become stronger than I. Come, let us worship God the Word, begotten of the Father before the ages, incarnate of the Virgin Mary, for having endured the cross. He was handed over for burial as he himself wished, and having risen from the dead, he saved me, mankind that had gone astray. O oh, righteous shall wait for me until you recompense me. Christ our Savior, by nailing the record against us to the cross, annulled it and destroyed the might of death. We worship his rising on the third day. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. With archangels, let us sing the praise of the resurrection of Christ, for he is the Redeemer and the Savior of our souls. And with dread, glory, and mighty power, he is coming again to judge the world which he fashioned. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. An angel proclaimed you, the crucified, buried master, and said to the women, Come, see where the Lord was lying, for he was risen, he has risen, as he said, as all-powerful. Therefore we worship you, the only immortal, O Christ, giver of life. Have mercy on us. If you should mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For with you is forgiveness. O divinely wise Sabbath, who standest together with the angels and abidest as one with the venerable cons converser with the prophets, fellow heir to the kingdom with the martyrs and apostles, who dwellest now in never waning light. Shining with his divine rays and with ultimate desire, thou dost stand before him with boldness, enlightened, unceasingly delighting in his beauties, entreating Christ, O venerable Father, beseech him to grant to the church oneness of mind, peace, and great mercy. Because of your name, Lord, I have waited for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. O divinely wise Sabbath, who standest together with the angels and abidest as one with the venerable converser with the prophets, fellow heir to the kingdom with the martyrs and apostles, who dwellest now in never waning light, shining with his divine rays and with ultimate desire, thou dost stand before him with boldness, enlightened unceasingly, delighting in his beauty. <coughs> Entreating Christ, O Venerable Father, beseech him to grant to the church oneness of mind, peace, and great mercy. Some the morning watch until night, and the morning watch let Israel hope in the Lord. O divine.
divinely wise Sabbath, inex inextinguishable lamp of abstinence, most radiant beacon for monastics, illumined with rays of love, immovable pillar of patience, confirmation and strength of those who honor thee with faith, treasury of healings, thou art a de desert dweller in truth, having shown it to be a divine garden of paradise, which beareth the divine fruit of the saved. O venerable one, entreating Christ, beseech him to grant in the church oneness of mind, peace, and great mercy. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. O divinely wise Sabbath, inextinguishable lamp of abstinence, most radiant beacon, beacon of monastics, illumined with rays of love, immovable pillar of patience, confirmation and strength of those who honor thee with faith, treasury of healings. Thou art a desert dweller in truth, having shown it to be a divine garden of paradise, which beareth the divine fruit of the same. O venerable one, entreating Christ, beseech him to grant to the, to the church oneness of mind, peace and great mercy. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. O divinely wise Sabbath, fiery pillar of the virtues, beacon guiding men from the sea of life to the harbor divine, who has set at naught spiritual deceptions, pure abode of the Holy Spirit, instructor of monastics, sure measure of abstinence, radiant summit of humility, wellspring pouring forth an abyss of healings. O venerable one, entreating Christ, beseech him to grant to the church oneness of mind, peace, and great mercy. For his mercy has prevailed over us, and the truth of the Lord abides forever. O divinely wise Sabbath, fiery pillar of the virtues, beacon guiding men from the sea of life to the harbor divine, who has set at naught spiritual deceptions, pure abode of the Holy Spirit, instructor of monastics, sure measure of abstinence, radiant summit of humility, wellspring pouring forth an abyss of healings. O venerable one, entreating Christ, beseech him to grant to the church oneness of mind, peace, and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having preserved that which was fashioned according to the image of God, and made thy mind master of the pernicious passions through fasting, thou didst ascend as one mighty unto that which is according to the likeness of God. For manfully compelling thy nature, thou didst strive to subject that which was worse to the better, and to enslave the flesh to the spirit. Wherefore thou hast been shown to be the lofty summit of monastics, a desert dweller, an admonisher of those who run well the course of life, and a rule of virtue most sure. And now when the shadows have been set aside, O Sabbath, our Father, in a pure manner thou dost behold the Holy Trinity in the heavens, praying directly in, on behalf of those who honor thee, with faith and love. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The shadow of the law is passed away with the coming of grace. For as the bush was not consumed when it was burning, thus as a virgin did you give birth, and a virgin you did remain. And in the stead of a pillar of fire, there has arisen the Son of Righteousness, in the stead of Moses Christ, the salvation of our souls. For our eyes are unto you, O Lord, O Lord, and in you we put our, put our hope. You put us not to shame, O our God, for unto you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the entrance of your saints now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
majesty, the Lord has put on power and girded himself. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. Voice of the established universe, which shall not be shaken. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. Holy and be fit your help to the Lord for laying the day. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is king, he has clothed himself with majesty. Let us all say with our own soul, with our own mind, let us say. Solomon, let us be attentive. The just, 
Though he die early, will be at rest, for old age is not honored for length of time, for measured by the number of years, but understanding is gray hair for humans, and a blameless life is ripe old age. Being pleased to God, he was loved by him, and while living among sinners, he was taken up, and he was snatched away, lest evil change his understanding, or trickery deceive his soul. For the fascination of wickedness obscures the good, and roving desire perverts the innocent mind. Though perfected in a short time, he fulfilled long years, for his soul was pleasing to the Lord. And so he took him quickly from the midst of evil, yet the people saw and did not understand, nor take such a thing to heart, that grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his visitation with his chosen people. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord God of all, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray, O your us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great loving kindness, we pray, O your us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his eminence, our metropolitan, Alleluia, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our God, loving God, protect the country, Canada's government, armed forces, and all of our pious people, that the Lord God will help and aid them in all things and protect them from every enemy and adversary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Orthodox Patriarch, for the founders of this holy temple, and for all Orthodox Christians be part of this life before us, who here and ever rely sleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, God's visitation, and the forgiveness and remission of sins for the servants of God, the purchase of this holy temple. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray unto the Lord our God that he will hearken unto the voice of the prayer of us sinners and protect the Ukrainian people in difficult trials. In time of war for their liberation, have mercy upon his servants, all Ukrainian armed forces, personnel defending Ukraine from occupation, and that our merciful Lord will shield them from from fatal wounds and from spiritual and physical illnesses, and he will protect them from all afflictions, wrath, anger, and sorrow in time of war, and that he will grant them to return from war in good health, uninjured, and in blessedness through the prayers of the Holy Archangel Michael. All merciful Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Look down from your dwelling place on high, O Lord our God, and as a good and merciful one, ease the anguish, misfortune, and distress, and sorrow of your Ukrainian people in time of war, especially refugees, children, the infirm, the aged. Manifest your might, come and protect them all, that the enemy would not rejoice at the sight of our death. We pray, O most merciful Lord, through the prayers of the Lady of the Adultus, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord Jesus, the merciful one, our Savior, look upon our people in Ukraine in time of war, whose sons and daughters, all refugees, deprived of human shelter, wander, wander about the earth, fleeing from the horrors of war and death. Manifest your mercy before us. Sinners and grant shelter to all Ukrainian refugees and bless those who offer them shelter and aid through the prayers of the Holy Hierarch Nicholas, the Wonder Worker, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and bigger works and holy, venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, 
and for all the people here present to await your great and abundant mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are merciful God and lover of mankind, and to we send up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, give me understanding of your statutes. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me by your statutes. O Lord, your mercy endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you glory is due. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the believe you may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Forgiveness, remission, of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All that has been beneficial for our souls and peace. For the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace, repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. A Christian end to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, good defense before the good judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Calling to remembrance the most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another. And all our life unto Christ ever go. To you, O Lord. For you are a good God and lover of mankind, and do we send up glory to the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. For the salvation of the human race, look upon your servants and your inheritance. To you, to the awesome judge of all mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and bent their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating your mercy. And looking confidently for your salvation, guard them at all times with hope during this present evening and appropriate night from every enemy, from all the first powers of the devil, from faint thoughts and evil imaginings. May the majesty of your kingdom be blessed and glorified in the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Your resurrection, O Christ, Savior, has enlightened the whole inhabited world, and you have called back your own creation. All powerful Lord, glory to you. The Lord is King, he has clothed himself with majesty. By the tree, O Savior, you have removed the curse that was caused by a tree, and by your burial you have caused the might of death to die. You have illumined our race by your resurrection. Wherefore do we shout to you, O Christ our Lord, giver of life, glory to you. For he has established the universe which shall not be shaken. O Christ, when you were seen nailed upon the cross, you inverted the beauty of creation. Yet with, with all did the soldiers show brutally brutality when they pierced your side with a spear, and the Hebrews did not comprehend the might of your authority, seeking to seal your tomb. But you, who for the compassion of your mercies did accept a tomb, and did rise in three days, O Lord, glory to you. Holy is because your house, Lord, from night to day. O Christ, God, O giver of life, 
you bore the passion willingly for the sake of the dead. You de descended into Hades, for you art mighty, and snatched away from the hand of the proud one those who were awaited, those who there awaited your coming, bestowing paradise upon them for an abode instead of Hades. Wherefore, we beseech you to give us who glorify your third day resurrection forgiveness of sins and the great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We honor thee as the instructor of a multitude of monks, O Sabbaths, our Father, for we have truly learned to walk right in thy steps. Blessed art thou who didst labor for Christ and didst renounce the power of the adversary. O converser with the angels, with them entreat the Lord that he have mercy upon our souls. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Virgin without bridegroom, who ineffably conceived God, accept the supplications of your servant, servants. All spotless Mother of God, Most High, who grant you all cleansing from faults, now receive our entreaties and beg that we may all be saved. Now let your servant depart in peace, O Master, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all Oh. 
Jesus Christ, our God, always now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Make firm, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and our Orthodox Christians unto the ages of ages. More solid theatrical save all. More honorable than the cherubim and the archivarium of glorious and the seraphim. Thee without corruption gives birth to God the Word. Truth, there, so close we magnify you. The glory to you, Christ your God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ your true God arose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us. Through the intercessions of his most dear mother of holy glory, from the first apostles, of the venerable Sabbath, the sanctified saints, Grius, Archbishop of Kazan, the martyr Anastasia, the venerable Karam, Anis, Don Zachariah of Egypt, the venerable Nectaria of Gizzo, and his elder saint Polyphion of Kerensky from Akko, Saint Nikita, Bishop of Tyr, the venerable Justinian, hermit of Wales, and of all holy ancestors of God, you come in honor, and of all the saints for as much as he is good, and the lover of mankind. Amen. <coughs> Our Metropolitan, Metropolitan His Eminence Illyrian, Archbishop of Winnipeg in the Central Eparchy, Metropolitan of Canada, the parishioners of this holy temple and all Orthodox Christians protect, O Lord, for many years. Slava Jesus Christ. Glory be to Jesus Christ. The Venerable Savas the Sanctified. The unknown village of Mudlaska in the province of Cappadocia became famous through this great luminary of the Orthodox Church, Sava, was born there of his parents, John and Sophia. At the age of eight, he left the home of his parents and was tonsured a monk in a nearby monastery community called Flavan. After 10 years, he moved to the monastery of, monasteries of Palestine and remained longest in the monastery of St. Euthy Euthymius, the Great, and Theotitas, the clairvoyant Euthymius, prophesied of Sava that he would become a famous monk and a teacher of monks, and that he would establish a lavra greater than all the lavras of that time. After the death of Euthymius, Sava withdrew to the desert where he lived for five years as a hermit in a cave shown to him by the angel of God. After when he had been perfected in the monastic life, he began by divine providence to gather around him many who were, de who were desirous of the spiritual life. Soon such a large number gathered that Sava had to build a church and many cells. Some Armenians also came to him, and for them he provided a cave where they would be able to celebrate services in the Armenian language. When his father died, his aged mother Sophia came to him, and he tonsured her a nun. He gave her a cell located at, the distance, at a distance from the monastery, where she lived a life of asceticism until her death. This holy father endured many assaults from all sides, from those who were chosen to him, from heresy, her, heretics, from those who were close to him, from heretics and from demons. But he triumphed over them all. Those close to him by kindness and, indul and indulgence, and in the heretics by his unwavering confession of orthodox faith. The demons, by the sign of the cross and calling upon God for help, he, he and a particularly great he had a particularly great struggle 
with demons on Mount Chasalon, where he established his second monastery. And Al Sava established seven monasteries. He and Theod <coughs> Theod the Theodos the Great, his neighbor, are considered to be the greatest lights and pillars of orthodoxy in the East. They cor corrected emperors and patriarchs in matters of the faith, and to everyone they served as an example of saintly humility and the miraculous power of God. <clears throat> After a toilsome and very fruitful life, St. Sava entered into rest in the year 532, at the age of 94. Among his many wondrous and good works, he let it at least be mentioned that he was the first to compel the order of services for, for use in monasteries, now known as the Jerusalem Typical. The last, last bit is, is, is interesting because as one learns liturgics and understands how the order of services is to be within the church, we, we learn about the Jerusalem Typicon and the Studite and the Alexandrian because there began to develop as, as, Christ, as the church was no longer facing the persecutions after the the fourth century as 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 much we should say there were still persecutions throughout the world in in areas but these established rules and guidelines for how we were to to pray and in this case the jerusalem typicon that sava uh, established was specific mostly to the monasteries this is why it's so important that we, we truly understand how, we, how there is a variation and a difference between um, our, the monasticism and how monastics are to live, not just pray, but to live and to do different things in their life, um, and how it can be very quite a bit different than us in, in the world, in, in the cities, in our churches that are, that are in the world uh, living and doing things. That uh, if one were to take the, the monastic typicon into their daily life as a, as a working person in the world, it would not be achievable. Um, so it's important that we, we recognize the differences and the importance of, of having a being in the world and, and, and that. Um, I remind you that tomorrow we have Divine Liturgy beginning at 10 a.m. Uh, we will have copies of our new liturgical calendar for the 2023 season or year um, uh, uh, here at the church tomorrow, but also uh, for those who receive um, uh, the regular emails. Um, there was one sent out today uh, with the, the, the bulletin for tomorrow, but also uh, a link for the attached uh, uh, PDF document of our 2023 service calendar. Please make note of it as um, coming up in, uh, in the new year, the first we begin our new civil calendar um, and uh, with the nativity of our Lord on January 7th here in Vernon. So please make note of that. Um, we will have that uh, nativity service here in Vernon on the 7th, which is a Saturday beginning at 10 a.m. So uh, I look forward to our continued prayers tomorrow and uh, pray that you have a blessed evening and safe driving for those who are coming to service tomorrow uh, here in the Okanagan with uh, snow coming down upon us at this time. Christ is in our midst. Yes, no, it shall be.